Hi everyone. Um, we are uh, counting down to uh, the big night. The Oscars are this Sunday. Um, I'm so I'm making a few videos uh, in relation to the Oscars. Um, uh, I got some very sad news last week. Um, as it turns out, one of my favorite retail establishments, it's closing most of its locations here in Chicago. That of course is Borders Books and Music. Um, since at least the mid-90s, 93, 94, something like that, probably 93. Um, I have been hanging out at Borders, spending hours upon hours flipping through magazines, um, reading books, uh, and uh, only like buying a piece of um, um, carrot cheesecake or peanut butter cheesecake or whatever they have. Not really buying too much, um, so it, I'm not totally surprised uh, given that and uh, the fact that there are such things as Amazon.com and Kindle uh, putting the big place out of business. You know, it's funny, I read that Barnes & Noble is actually a bigger chain, uh, but there aren't nearly as many Barnes & Nobles in Chicago as there are borders. There are borders everywhere. And now they're all gonna be gone. <laughs> it's crazy. They're leaving one borders in the entire city open. Uh, and that is the one in the heart of downtown in the Loop on State Street. Uh, the one uh, in uh, Lincoln Park is closing. Uh, the one by North and Clybourne is closing. The one near 10 minutes from where I live is closing. Uh, and um, a lot of them out in the suburbs. It's a sad, sad day because I enjoy sitting around reading and not buying things. Um, so, uh, yeah, but of course, um, on uh, midnight of Friday, they sent out an email to all their Borders Rewards people saying, the store in Uptown's closing, you know, everything must go, you know, and I bet I wasn't the only one to get that email because um, when I went to the store the next day, um, I didn't go right at the opening at 10 a.m. I, I hung around and, and waited to go there until noon, which was a mistake because by that point, the line for the cash registers was snaked throughout the entire store practically in one big, you know, curly queue. Um, yeah, I, it would have been wise to get there earlier, but I still got some good discs. Um, and with a 20% discount, my Borders Reward discount, um, I, I, I made out like a bandit. First of all, I'd like to talk about the Academy Award nominated film, Angel Heart. No, just kidding. I don't think Angel Heart got any Oscar nominations. Um, but it is an excellent film. Uh, pretty creepy and scary. Um, definitely my favorite Alan Parker film. Uh, so uh, I'm glad to have this on DVD finally. Uh, I'm not sure about this edition. Um, it's, you know, um, widescreen and all that. Yeah, enhanced for 16 by 9. Yeah, that's good. I'm not sure how old this edition is, but it's probably, you know, I don't know. But it's a great movie. We'll all check it out and I'll see. I can't return it, but, you know, I mean, hey, that's cool. It's still a good movie. Uh, nominated for Best Supporting Actor was Brad Pitt in 12 Monkeys. Uh, this came out in 95, early 96, where I lived. Um, and this is my favorite film by Terry Gilliam. It's a terrific time travel movie. I love time travel movies, and this is one of the best ones. It's supremely well written. Uh, and uh, exciting and moving. Um, and uh, this uh, disc also has the uh, Hamster Factor, which is the uh, excellent documentary on the making of the film that uh, came on these special edition laser discs uh, when they came out uh, all those many, many years ago. Um, so glad to have that one. And finally, <clears throat> the piece de resistance is uh, Schindler's List by Steven Spielberg, uh, which was not only nominated for, but won quite a number of Oscars, including uh, Best Director, Best Picture, Best Adapted Screenplay. Liam Neeson and Bing Kingsley were both nominated for Oscars. I'm sure it won a bunch of awards for uh, the score by John Williams, production design and costume design and everything like that. Um, fantastic movie, one of Spielberg's very best films, of course. Uh, highly regarded. And uh, this is a really nice addition, too. Um, it opens kind of like a book. Uh, it doesn't snap close, it just opens like a book. and. The disc is double-sided. I, I presume that one side has the movie and the other side has the special features. Um, but this is, uh, you know, very nice uh, addition right here. And it's nice to finally have this one on DVD too after just basically having a little VHS copy for all those years. Uh, so yeah, I don't usually do DVD updates, but this was a special occasion, so I thought I'd make a little video Oscar-related uh, tenuously, though it may be, uh, to Sunday ceremony. Um, yes, that's right, though tenuously related, though only tenuously re related to Sunday ceremony, whatever. Um, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.